Welcome everybody to beautiful Miami and Hard Rock City, site of this year's Capital One Orange Bowl, part, of course, of the college football playoff. It's time now for the quarterfinals for the top four seeds, a time to begin their quest for the national championship. But they run into a battle-tested team already coming off one playoff victory, trying to shock the world here today and make the semifinals. As we'll see, the number 10 seed in this playoff, the Boston College Eagles taking on the number two seed in the playoff, the Temple Owls. Free A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. We'll see which team's gonna be moving on. kickoff right there to start from the 25. So the Boston College Eagles offense will be the first up today. I love being in Miami for the Orange Bowl. So much history and tradition. So many championships have been won in this game. But Kirk, they've been playing this since 1935. Can you tell me who won that first Orange Bowl? You know what's funny is I actually asked the Sunshine Scooter, who's from Miami, just in case you might ask me that question, so I have an answer. Miami played the Bison of Bucknell, and Bucknell upset them. Talk about a team coming out of left field and pulling off an upset even back then. But who would have guessed how much this game in the college football world would change since then? Off target and incomplete. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They gotta get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. Offense facing a third and long at 25. What's the call going to be? Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid gain. Boston College quickly to the line of scrimmage. Oh, the defense. They get this offense to a third down early in the game. A chance to get him off the field. But instead, this quarterback shows you why they've had such a great year with a conversion. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Well, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. Well, the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. To come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Pressure is coming. The sure hands. It's Allen. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. This Boston College offense is quickly moving down the field. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. Now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. The game makes it second and medium. Quick throw caught on the left side. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. The running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. They'll run it from the gun. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight. Offense in hurry-up mode. Looking for some space. It's Allen. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. On the 10th play of this opening drive, it's third and short. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Franklin. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. DC has moved into the red zone. First down, looking to throw the ball. That's the running back who makes the catch across the middle. Brought down at the seven. The completion moves him closer to the goal line. Boston College lines up first and goal. 
dropping back. It's Castellanos. It's the running back in the flat. Winning toward the end zone, but the defense forces a fumble. Defense falls on the ball. Crucial takeaway. Well, that's why you do ball security drills almost every single day in practice. You just can't put the ball on the turf like that. But give credit to the defender for the hit, because that's what caused the fumble. Set it down to the offense. First down. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Ball knocked loose in the end zone. Who's a scrum? Who's got it? The defense recovers the fumble. Touchdown, Eagles. And the defense joins the party with a score. Oh, it's your worst nightmare if you're a quarterback. They bring the blitz. He doesn't recognize it. Ball goes on the ground. Defense does a great job of picking this thing up. That's exactly what they hope for. Catch the quarterback off guard. It works out. It gets him a touchdown. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Temple offense back on the field now. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Caught in the backfield. It's Smith. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Crucial third down play coming up. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Caught over the middle. It's Stewart. They tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. The Owls getting set on first and ten. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. But a huge collision. Blow delivered there by the linebacker. That completion makes it second and medium. Hands off to the left. And they'll stop him after a short game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. And the Owls are moving quickly down the field. Great job here by this offense being able to convert. Let's face it, they dug themselves a hole. They're down here early in this game. And with all this hype, the last thing you want to do is have to punt the ball. Come up with a conversion, keep your rhythm, keep your momentum, stick to your playbook. Good job here. Now let's see if they can keep that rhythm going. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Takes the ball, tries the right side here. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Boston College has the lead here. We've reached the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. We expect the teams have worked through some of the nerves of this playoff game as we begin the second quarter. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Grab down the middle. It's Smith. Bug down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can he keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? Try to pick up the third down yardage on the ground. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. An inside give now for the shotgun. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Owls. So with playoff pressure, Kirk, the offense executes a long, grinding, methodical drive. You know, the thing I've loved about this offense all year long is their ability to either hit the big play or not have to rely on that. Like this, they're able to sustain a drive and still come up with points and get a touchdown. 
Point after, up and good. The PAT ties the game here in the second quarter now. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And the return starts just inside the end zone. Will be tackled at the 21, and it's good work by the coverage team. So the PC offense is back out on the field now. That fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. Can they bounce back from that costly error here? Looking for his big tight end. Oh, and he misfires just beyond the receiver's grasp. The completion makes it second down. Grab behind the line. It's Harris. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. And he'll drop back here on third down. Receiver makes the grab, and the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They stop him with a three, seven, but that's enough for a first down. Awesome college quickly to the line of scrimmage. Boy, another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show how dangerous he is when he has time to throw. The defensive coordinator's got to change up his looks, maybe bring in the blitz, anything they can do to get this quarterback out of this rhythm. Brought down, but both could tackle to produce a solid gain there. Here's the second down play. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second manageable here for this offense. Looks like Boston College will have the first down. Hey, it's not a lot, but it's enough to get the first down. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Back to pass. It's Castellanos. Tight end makes the grab. They're finally able to stop, and the quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Tackle made after a big game. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Looking for six. And it's picked off in the end zone. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points, at the very least, a field goal. they got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. Here comes the Temple offense out there. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? some pre-snap movement in the backfield. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. First down here for this offense. Look at out throwing here to start the drive. Aggressive call, a deep shot on first down, but incomplete. Well, it's an incompletion here. And I bet this secondary is going to play a little bit deeper just to make sure they don't get hit on any deep throws later in this game. Now it's second down here. Dropping back, it's Adams. It's an out route, the catch made. They bring him down after a short gain there. 
Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And he busts loose right down the middle. It's a foot race. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Temple. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. When they're rolling like this, results in quick and positive results. And the extra point makes the lead 14-7. They get set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Allen. Other turner lost the ball. Was grabbed by the kicking team. Another example of taking care of the football. How big of a deal this is. Usually it's running backs in practice that are working overtime on ball security. But after this, next week this returner might be in those drills too can't be trusted to return it when you can't hold on to the football. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Really good job here by the defense in coverage. Did a nice job here of staying in phase with the receiver. There's no chance for a completion at all. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Stewart. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark. Inches away. Here we go. Third down. Close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. And they pick up the first on the ground. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. Now, yeah, look at the back. Didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it's third down in inches. Lower the shoulder. Get the first down. He's got it right near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Owls. So it's still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now. And as we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. Now the try here for the extra point. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. He tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the Boston College offense back out on the field. That costly red zone interception the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Try to catch the defense with the draw. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. That's the two-minute warning. Let's see if this offense can do something before the break to cut into this big lead. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Tries to get it to the running back. Grab down the middle. It's Allen. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. Boston College quickly to the line of scrimmage. And looking to throw now on first down. The pass rush closing in. That's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. Offense getting set. Second down play here. To throw, it's Castellanos. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Looking to chuck it again. 
the pocket breaking down. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Now they put that nickel defense, and I think that's the right call. You get more speed to be able to cover with those five defensive backs. It also allows that defensive line with that good coverage to get after the quarterback, as we see here. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Now they finally get him, but he found a nice lane in that return. This drive starts in good position. The Owls offense is back out on the field now. Offense protecting the lead here, but they've been playing so well. Let's see if they go for more before halftime. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Receiver makes the catch. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. First and ten now for the offense. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Oh my gosh, Chris, a missed opportunity to your best receiver with that speed. I'll tell you this, I'm shocked that he actually overthrew. With anything, I'd expect him to underthrow a fleet-footed receiver like this, but he must have anticipated that his receiver could go get it, just misses it. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. Coach elected to go for a field goal attempt. And it's good. And they add to their lead. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. He'll bring it out from his end zone. He's tackled at the 17, so it would be better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. The back's got it. Jukes to get free. Breaks a tackle on the play. Makes a decent game. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Chris, we wondered all week what this matchup would look like. So much at stake in this win or go home game. And we've been treated to a fabulous first two quarters of playoff football. And it's been a clinic in fundamental defensive football. Both teams have been relentless and ball hawking, refusing to give an inch. This is the kind of slugfest that real football fans love. Crushing tackles and dudes flying into gaps and passing lanes. A testament to the discipline both of these teams have shown. That's going to do it for us here at the half. Time to see how this incredible playoff drama plays out. And for that, it's back to Chris and Kirk. All right, thank you for the update, Kevin. Appreciate it. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return will be brought down. The Temple offense back on the field now. On first down, it's play action. Quick throw to his receiver. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. Both out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Solid run, tagged with the 45-yard line. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. It's a quick grab. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. 
Back to pass. It's Adams. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. And it's incomplete. They let it fly in third down, but now it brings up fourth. Well, the defense better be aggressive here themselves. Clearly, we're seeing an approach by this offense that they're going to attack downfield. Probably saw something in the first half that they could take advantage of. They come out early and try to hit it for a big one. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, of which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Let's it go quickly. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. That's a big game. The offense is threatening to spot the ball to 22. The Owls have first and 10 here. He'll hand it off. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. The long march continues. Offense pushing the ball down the field. Out of the gun now on third down. Running out of time in the pocket. Finds his man in Smith. And he's tackled just short of that first down marker. Good job by the defense. Needs a completion here on fourth down. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. And he's brought down, but he does have the enough for the first down. A new set of downs after that completion. First down, they're going to throw the football. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. Run down at the seven, but the completion moves him closer to the goal line. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Takes the handoff. It's Smith. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. They convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Back to throw. It's Adams. Launching one to the end zone. Pass is incomplete, but a flag is down in the backfield. They First may have run the quarterback. Look at the pass, pass, defense. Defense. Quarterback roughed up. Let's hope he's okay. Automatic first down coming. And the Owls hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. Or oh, it's snapped to the back. Touchdown, Temple. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. So no return here. He takes in the end, the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. So the BC offense is back out on the field now. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. So from the 21-yard line, it's now second and long. From the shotgun, handoff inside. The defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. And Kirk gets Temple on top right now. He played three quarters with a chance to stay alive for the national championship. We'll check out the game summary here so far. They begin the quarter with a crucial play, often setting up for this third down. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. 
Can't hold on. Good defensive play and picks up a four down. Now that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in the football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. And it's broken up nicely. A defensive stop and a turnover on downs. The offensive coordinator has got to love this starting field position. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. That's a great way to start this drive after taking over a really good field position, working with the lead. Chance here for a knockout punch. Gives it to the back. And they try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Chris, textbook job by the defense, surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. They'll try to run for the first down. They bring him down after a gain. Looks like they'll spot an inch short of a first down. The Owls will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. And the wideout goes in motion. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. And they can't complete it. It's a turnover on downs. Defense stepping up there. Here comes the Boston College offense back out on the field. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Grab down the middle. It's Harris. Stopped short of the 25, but it's enough to move the sticks. The offense will set up on first and ten. From the gun, he looks for an open man. They give the running back a touch in the pass game. Catch made over the middle. He's brought down after a short gain. That's not going to be first down yardage. Second down after that short completion. Dropping back, it's Castellanos. Fires it to the wide end, but they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Offense will try to convert a third and long to the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Pulls it in. It's Harris. Defense stops him short of the marker, so now it's fourth down. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. Looking to throw it again. Makes the catch, and that is enough for a first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. This Boston College offense is quickly moving down the field. On first and ten, looking to throw. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Oh, and it's nearly intercepted, but dropped by an excellent defensive player. It's going to bring up third down. We come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Oh, and another incompletion. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, when you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. They make the tackle, but he easily gets first down yardage, and the drive keeps going. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Harris. And the defense swarms not much of a game on that completion. Short completion there. Second down coming up. From the shotgun, drops back. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. On third down, he drops to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Oh, he misfires again. Three in a row. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. 
There's a shot toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Not much on the return, but they create the turnover. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. They'll use that running game trying to bleed the clock here. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Quarterback pre-snap adjustments now for this defense. Scanning the field. It's Adams. Quick throw complete to the tight end. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. And I've really enjoyed watching this guy play all year. And it's been great to see him in person today. Making good decisions, accurate throws, and keeping this offense moving. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Solid game, moves the ball to a 43. Just another example of this offense. Chris doing pretty much whatever they want to do. They've been able to run the football. Offensive lines held their own in pass protection. Quarterbacks had an outstanding day. You add all that up, it's a big reason why they're up by such a wide margin. Of course, in the playoffs, it's survive and advance. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now the stage gets even bigger. The challenges will continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games. But you and I have been around this team all year long. So impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.